Have you ever had a time where something came out of your mouth so quickly, so fast, that when you actually heard what you said, you realize that's not at all what you wanted to say. I'm Ricky Calabat. Welcome to my Live a Legacy channel. My intentions are to provide you with valuable information that will alter the trajectory of your life by creating new opportunities for your family and your future. What is Straight Talk with Ricky? It's the real deal, unedited, unfiltered truth about life and all the lessons that come with it. Subscribe now. So what does that mean? I know we've heard the expression that, you know, sometimes your mind works faster than your brain and you're talking faster and you want to get something out or a lot of times it's just spontaneous, right? So what does that mean? Does that mean that our feelings are more powerful than our thoughts? Or does it mean that our thoughts are not connected with our feelings? Maybe a little bit of both. So what happens in the middle? That is the question. So thoughts equal feelings and then, you know, expression, right? Taking action. Sometimes in our mind, something works out a certain way. There's something we want to say. There's something we want to, how we want to say it. And then in our mind, it feels right. It just feels right. So then we say it. And as soon as we're done saying it, we're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I want to bring that back. I didn't mean it. They didn't, it came off the wrong way or a lot of those things. So confusion, right? At the end of the day, there's confusion and the art of communication is something that is so precious in our world today, especially because there are so many ways to communicate. It's not just the phone anymore. We have verbally, we have by text messages, emails, posting, you know, exclamations, memes and uh, emojis and all these other things that like are helping are they helping us communicate or are they enabling us to be ineffective communicators that's a great question so many times we're searching for something to describe how we feel to show it and people can interpret that a different way. It might not be the maybe that you intended is the same one that people are receiving, right? So I just uh, trying to wrap my head around, you know, the whole art of communication, how we communicate, especially when we're talking so quickly that sometimes we say things that didn't come out the right way. So back to that, right? How do we handle that? So number one, Usually, me included, when we are in that situation, we say things we didn't mean to say it, and then we try to brush it under the rug, we try to defend it all of a sudden, even though we know it's not what we meant, but because we said it, because it's out there, then now, oh, now we have to defend it, and we have to twist it, and spin it, and sugarcoat it, and do all of these things to justify what we just said because it's out there. So in my experience, by doing that, you end up really digging deeper, 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 deeper. You start digging deeper into this hole and now this thing that you didn't even mean to say, you've bought into it and now you're trying to bring facts around it. You're trying to make it real. You're trying to prove to the other person that what you said is actually the truth or accurate when in reality you don't even believe it yourself but you feel like you've already <laughs> you've already committed right you're committed to it because you said it so that in my experience makes things a lot worse that gets people offended then you know principles and values and all of these things can be fights right fights arguments whatever you want to call them can manifest over a silly misunderstanding. It was just something that you thought of 
It was supposed to come out this way. It came out that way. Oh shit, now what? And a lot of times we go to defense mode, right? We go into defense uh, instead of, so let me spin it a different way. So that's what we sometimes do. Again, me included. People, we want to own it, right? We try to own it. We try to justify. We try to make excuses. Or we could also just say, oops, wow. And sometimes we do do that, right? Sometimes we catch ourselves right away. You're like, oh my God, did I just say that? Did that just come out of my mouth? Wow, that's not at all what I was intending. That's not at all what I meant. That's not at all how I feel about this topic or about whatever it is, okay? So that's very important. It's very important to just understand that you have a chance, right? You have a chance to be able to stop the madness, stop it, right? And just say, oops, I messed up. I made a little mistake. So what? Right? So what? Reel it in. Stop it. Say, oops, I know I said that. However, what I meant is this. And then you get a do-over, right? You get to try again. Now that you've heard it come out of your mouth, it's not exactly what you were thinking. It's not what you intended. So reframe it. But you have to stop it before it gets too far down the road where you're starting to defend it and then everything just gets, goes upside down from, from there. Okay, so especially where do we see this happen? We see it happen a lot on social media. One person says one thing, another person interprets it one way and maybe they said it the wrong way and then you see all these people that are getting into fights and defending things over something that's really quite silly at the end of the day. However, the damage is done, feelings are hurt, people are, you know, unfriending people, people are just so quick to just chop it off and no more for you and I'm done with you and it's ending all these relationships over, a lot of times it's just confusion. And it's okay if it's somebody on Facebook, you have 5,000 friends and it's somebody that you never talked to, you don't even know who they are, you don't even know how they became on your friends and it's easy to just cut that tie right? Great. The damage is when it's somebody who's close to you, possibly even family, possibly somebody you went to high school with, someone you've had a long relationship with, a significant other, um, parents, children. A lot of times it's, you know, it's, it's, it's easy. It's easy for, you know, confusion to happen, especially when it's online and informal. So just remember, I think we have this, you know, propensity now that we, you know, everyone is on edge and, you know, everyone's lashing out and just seems to be, um, you know, fight, fightful, <laughs> is that, if that's a word, <laughs> right? Like first sign of like smoke, we want to fire. We want to like, okay, Yep, I see some smoke. Boy, I'm grabbing the, you know, I'm grabbing the um, fire starter or the gasoline or whatever it is, and uh, I just wanted to burn, 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 and um, and I don't know if that's the right way to, you know, to diffuse situations. And again, I think uh, sometimes we let things get carried away. We get let them go further than they should, and one person has to be the bigger person and just say, okay. Stop the madness. I'm sorry. Practice that. I'm sorry. It's okay to be sorry. It's okay to say, whoops, my bad. I messed up. That's not what I meant. I'm sorry. Can we start over? That's it. That's it. Push, refresh, and then start over is much better way to communicate, especially if you want to maintain relationships, if you want to kind of, you know, clear the air, um, you know, get back to neutral ground. Because when you're neutral, it's much easier to have a conversation with somebody that is productive than when somebody feels offended and somebody feels like, 
you know, disrespected. So, so please, that's my quick thought of the day that uh, we need to focus more on our communication and don't be afraid to stop confusion and just say, sorry, let's restart because your values, what you are bring, you don't want that to keep going and then that person knows somebody else and then they're talking about what you said and some little thing that came out of your mouth that didn't really mean anything has now gone through the grapevine and now you could be crucified over something that you really didn't even mean to say. Right? So don't let that happen to you. Be the bigger person. Stop the madness. Restart. Refresh. Do what you got to do to get back into alignment. All right? That's it. Go out there and make it a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, subscribe, and click on the bell. Like and share with three people you think will also benefit from this game-changing message. Connect with me. All my social media links are below in the description. We welcome and reply to all comments. So please share your comments below and please let us know what topic interests you the most.